Hey everybody and welcome to Bible Class. John 14 is our text. Some of the most precious words of Jesus who has entered Jerusalem. He has observed the Passover with his closest followers. He is there with them in an upper room in Jerusalem. In our last session from John 13, we watched as the Lord and Savior of the world washed the feet of his own disciples. In John 14, he begins some parting words for them just before his betrayal that is going to happen this night. Let's listen to his words and really observe his heart. Are you ready? John 14, verse 1, Jesus says, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas, one of the twelve, said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And it is here in this upper room that we run across another of those great I am statements of Jesus. John's gospel has been full of them. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. Here in John 14 and verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. This time, Philip speaks up in verse 8. Lord, Show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe on accounts of the works themselves. What has Jesus shown all over John's gospel? Sign after sign after sign. And what are those signs really proving? That the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Verse 12, he says, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do. And greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do that the Father also may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Listen to this promise. Verse 18, 
I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. In that day, you will know that I am in the Father and you in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, it it is another Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words and the words that you hear, it's not mine, but the father's who sent me. These things, Jesus says, I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And Now I have told you before it takes place. So that when it does take place, you may believe. What has been the point of John's entire gospel? That you and I may believe. To the apostles, Jesus says, I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise. Let us go from here. We already heard at the end of John chapter 13, it is night. And it is going to be a challenging night. But for now, John 14 has given us such precious promises and blessed assurance from the mouth of the very Son of God. Let's dig into it together. Thanks for being in class today. Hope you have a great rest of your class and a great start to this new week.